If you look in a book like this one, you'll learn that the capybara is the largest rodent in the world. But what's the second largest rodent? I didn't need a book to answer that question. I met the second largest rodent last year on a TV program called Adventures in Education. My human guests were Leela Goulet and Julianne Rose from Wildlife Safari. Let's see what they taught us about cavies. So, looks like uh, this is an animal that enjoys her breakfast. <laughs> yes, she's been waiting very patiently for her breakfast this morning. It's oh. been pretty good. <laughs> okay, so what can you tell me about this? Um, so this is Patty, and she's actually a Patagonian cavey. Um, they're native to South America, Patagonia to be specific, and they are the second largest rodent in the world. Wow. Yeah. So the, the first one being the... Uh, the capybara. Capybara, okay. Yes. Now, uh, this, uh, what, what did you say your name was again? Her name is Patty. But Patty, she, yes. okay. Yes. Now, um, Patty has, uh, what's her history? Um, she was actually brought to the park as a donation, and she's just been an absolutely amazing ambassador animal for us. We take her out on outreach, and um, she's able to be touched by the public as well, so it's a really great way to get hands-on with these animals, and she just has the perfect personality for it as well. I'm trying to get her little cooing sound. That's why I'm leaning <laughs> forward. She, she's pretty much like a giant guinea pig with the way she interacts and her sounds and her diet. And, and her diet actually doesn't smell so bad. It's, a, <laughs> it's kind of a, has a green smell to it. Yeah, and in the wild they would eat things like grasses and plants. And here at Safari we feed her some pellet mixtures so she gets the, the vitamins and minerals she needs. But she also gets fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamin C as well as some, some hay as well. And diet is very important for It's really, animals. it is. It's really important for all of our animals as well. Mm -hmm. Now uh, this is a, a part of the educational outreach. Yes. And uh, that's the reason you guys are on the show. Yeah, I, exactly. I found out, uh, first of all, that, you, that, that uh, Wildlife Safari is a nonprofit organization. It is, actually, yes. Not a lot of people realize that. Um, and, and I think part of that is that, you know, you see signs for it, you know, billboards for it mm -hmm. on the freeway. You see people going in, and you might think, oh, well, this is a for-profit kind of thing. But actually, you guys are nonprofit. That's right. That's right. We have 600 acres there, and it costs around $12,000 a day just to run. So um, all of the proceeds that we get from admissions and donations and, and fundraising events, that's basically how we raise our money. So we're not at all city funded. So if you think that um, the entrance fee is steep, compare that to going to South America, mm -hmm. to Patagonia, you're probably going to pay six times that much just for the coat you're going to need in Patagonia, right? Because <laughs> it gets very cold down there. No, it's, it's a great way to get people to, to be really close with the animals and to really create that bond. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to see these animals any other way. You know, not, not many of us exactly can travel to Patagonia or Africa. Not, or, not, on, my, uh, no. not on my retirement. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. Most rodents we're familiar with have scaly tails. But cavies have no tail at all. If you're a student in Oregon schools, you may get to meet this cavy. It's one of Wildlife Safari's ambassador animals, part of their outreach to schools. You can watch the entire episodes of Adventures in Education that features Wildlife Safari. Visit archive.org slash details slash rogue TV. Find the sidebar and click on my name, John Letts. From there, you can select the Adventures in Education episode featuring Wildlife Safari. Both of these episodes were directed by Denise Ross, with Steve Dreben doing a multitude of technical tasks. My thanks to Leela Goulet and Wildlife Safari's Education Outreach.